What's up guys, Nintendo Nick here, and welcome back to another episode of Spongebob Squarepants, The Battle for Bikini Bottom. In the last episode, we started and finished, um, Sand Mountain, and now we have enough golden spatulas, and we cleared every, um, other area in the area of the Bikini Bottom that we're at. So now we're going to be heading to the second major boss, which is Robot Patrick, wow, as you can see right like there. And, and yeah, he's kind of hard, but Spongebob only Earth. like at the third, um, the third stage. But yeah, um, as you can see, it's only Sandy and Spongebob. And just like in the last uh, well, major boss battle that we did, which was Robot Sandy, Sandy, Sandy never fought against Robot stuck. Sandy, I'll and so right me. here, idea, Patrick Bob, isn't fighting Sandy against Sandy Robot Patrick, but you. that's not the case Yikes. for the third like final Bob boss, or the right. third boss, which is the final boss. So right here, Patrick is just gonna um, spit his ice cream. He uses his ice cream as his main attack. It's the only thing that will really hit you. Um, except for himself, of course, but it's his only projectile. I don't know why he has ice cream. But yeah, when he gets dizzy like that, just hit him in the back. Or it says, kick me, here. I love it how he has that. Because, like, it makes sense, though, because, like, with, um, Patrick, he's, like, just too stupid to uh, just have that sign on his back and not even notice. But yeah, it's kind of easy. Okay, so yeah, if you actually do get hit by his attack, though, when he's doing that spinning attack, then, uh, he'll, like, taunt at you, and, uh, you have to wait till he spins again. But yeah, just like the last boss battle, um, I didn't die at all. I don't think I even took damage. I think maybe I took damage once, but that was it. But here, it's a bit harder, and, um... In the last, um, boss battle, Robot Sandy, if I did die, um, I would go back to the last three points that I hit. So, like, if I hit him one more time now, and I die, I go back to the yellow, which I'm about to go to right now. But yeah, I remember seeing this on a top ten list. I think it was either top ten easiest bosses, annoying bosses, or hardest bosses. But it's not that hard, so I don't think it was on the top 10 hardest bosses. I forget where I saw it, though. But yeah, so, like, every time, um, just like with the, um, with the Robot Sandy battle, the two, uh, characters switch, each up, switch out, um, twice, actually. And every time they hit the robot two times, or I mean, three times. But again, that's not the case for uh, the final boss, which I won't really spoil anything, but you guys can probably figure it out. Seeing that Robot Sandy was the first boss, Robot Patrick is the second boss, and you guys probably know what the third boss is already, which is actually the final boss. Yeah, so there's not many bosses in this game. It kind of reminds me of uh, Jack and Daxter, actually, because, like, Jack and Daxter really doesn't have any bosses. I think there was only, like, two in the game, which was the final boss and that one boss in the lava section. But yeah, I've been playing Jack and Daxter, actually, quite frequently, quite frequently lately. Yeah, I'm up to Jack 2 right now. I beat Jack 1, Jack and Daxter. I've been playing Jack 2 for a while. It's a fun game. I do like it. So yeah, right here, you just hit him in the back. This is the hardest one, though, because, like, right here, he has a pool of, um, whatever that is, ice cream, I guess, because that's what ice cream is made out of. And I really don't know how to attack him. Like, what I just do is I just go in. Because, like, it doesn't matter if you... Uh, 
um, get hit because the last hit of the phase. But like, I don't really know what the right way to do it is. <laughs> so yeah, just go like this, and then like that. Oh, re really? That doesn't count? Okay. Well, anyway, just like I said, um, when you actually die, you go back to the latest phase. I really don't know how you're supposed to attack him, is it like with my rope? And it's the same thing with, um, with the third phase too. And you have Spongebob that time, so you don't even have hover power. But like, there's boxes to help you. You don't really know how to do it, like, there's no way to like, stop the pool of ice cream to go back in. So I really don't know how you're actually supposed to fight this boss. I just go in and get lucky sometimes. But yeah, like, I really don't know how I'm supposed to beat him. So, like, if I chop in air, I don't think I can upper after that. Oh, wait, I can. Okay. I think I got it. There we go. I need enough height from this thing. Oh! Really? Okay, so these things actually make boxes for you. That's useful. I did not even know that. So that's helpful, actually. But he breaks them. Alright, nice hit right there. So that's actually really useful. I never knew that. Well, I did. I, I just went in and got lucky. He would usually be on the edge, and then I hit him like how I hit them, how I hit him before, right there. And I love with Patrick. What about Patrick's image? It's just like him raging. It's like that episode where um, where he got uh, hit with fleas when Sandy came back from Texas. And she had fleas, and like Patrick was going insane. Kind of reminds me of that. Of course, it hits me at the last hit. Of course, the last hit. Boxes. Really? I didn't even mean to. Really? Are you kidding me right now? That's ridiculous. I did not touch that. Like, really? Alright, this is getting annoying now. Maybe this was on the top 10 annoying boss battles. That's where I saw this boss. Because it really is an annoying boss battle. If you think about it. Alright, so we got one hit. And then... Just really annoying. Because if you get one... If one hits you when he's spinning, even if he's done spinning, he'll taunt at you for some apparent reason. He just stops being dizzy and just taunts at you because you got hit. Like, it's ridiculous. Alright, nice, got a box right there, that's useful. Oh, he almost broke my platform right there. Alright, he's gonna add one or two. Seriously, what even is this? Is this like, mint chocolate chip ice cream? Slime ice cream? Nickelodeon slime ice cream? Like, it really doesn't make any sense. It's ice cream, but then like, it's also a liquid? Like it's not like a custard. Now we got a clear hit. There we go. Okay, so now third phase. 
basically the whole thing is Ingu, Squidward, and uh, SpongeBob are free. Oh, oh my God! Okay, I know how to beat him now. When I first beat this guy, I think what I did was I just got lucky and I went like that and I like went back. I actually don't know how I beat him. I don't think I even used the bubble bowl. I don't remember using it. Maybe I did. Or maybe I got lucky like what he's right at. Cause like I can just go up to him right now and probably just hit him with my uh, with my jellyfish net instead of my bubble ball. Yeah, it's a lot harder with SpongeBob because he can't glide, he can't hook onto those uh, badges or whatever. Where's he gonna stop? All right over there. Again, it's an easy spot. I could probably just use it with my jellyfish now. But I'm not gonna risk it. There we go, one more hit. I feel like it's easier because I know what I'm doing now. And it's less annoying too. But I feel like with SpongeBob, I remember when I when I fought against this boss the first time. It was boxes that helped me hit Patrick. But I guess not. It was only for Sandy. And there we go. Robot Patrick is down. And he explodes. Okay. Thanks for saving Got another golden spatula. We have 45 now. But yeah, now we're gonna head to the final part of the Bikini Bottom. Which is like the Chum Bucket, Krusty Krab, um, Kelp Forest. And I think a couple others. But yeah, also, um, I don't know if they said it right there. I wasn't really listening to the cutscene, but I think there, uh, SpongeBob learned the bubble missile, or whatever it's called. And basically how it works is it's kind of like, uh, Snake's side special from I'm sorry, Brawl. Plankton. The chum bucket lab is and up um, you can control like where the missile goes, but only for like a limited in. time. It can't really go that far. I mean, it goes pretty far, but not like yes, it's you the can't chum just keep going and going. System. I designed it myself. It makes me so proud. It was meant to keep out the hateful throngs of the unwashed. Unfortunately, I never figured I'd be on this side of it. So what are you gonna do, Plankton? We, of course, meaning you, we're gonna have to go out there and get those golden spatulas! Or I'll never get back into the chum bucket and regain control of my robots. What was that? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I said, will I ever get back into the chum bucket to stain all my pots? Yes. Hmm, something's fishy here. Okay, so, <laughs> SpongeBob Stupid, he doesn't know what's going on. And, uh, so yeah, this is the third and final part of the Bikini Bottom. Uh, basically, just like in every other part, there is a pair of golden underpants, which will increase our underpants to six from five. And I forget how to get it. I think there's like a button you have to press. But yeah, right here, you can't actually access anything. That one costs 50 for Kelp Forest, and then 60 for uh, the Flying Dutchman. That's right, I forgot about that one. Uh, Flying Dutchman's Graveyard. And then we need 40,000 shiny pieces to go to that. I don't even know what that is. I never actually got into there. I guess it's just like different movies and like extras and stuff like that. But the place that we can enter is SpongeBob's Dreams. And um, also the Krusty Krab. But I said this like the first episode. The Krusty Krab, it's only used for one golden spatula. And that's it. You don't look so good. There's just like... A, li a bunch of enemies me, in the Krusty Krab. You feed them all, you get a golden spatula. That's it. That's the only thing in the Krusty Krab. 
And this Chumbucket has more. This Chumbucket has the final boss. And, um, also... It has another golden spatula, because I guess there's two golden spatulas for the golden, the final boss. So, yeah, I think there's actually a third one, too. I'm gonna go check, uh, after I beat the people on the Krusty Krab. Okay, so... Yeah, it really just doesn't make any sense, because, like, Krusty Krab is almost in every episode of Spongebob, yet... It's not a real area, it's just for one, um, for one golden spatula. Unlike, um, Rock Bottom, which was only appeared in one episode, yet that had a whole entire section. And it's crazy. Alright, so yeah, here's the, uh, missiles. I'm gonna try and use it. Alright, there we go. Alright, how am I getting shot? Oh, okay, from that guy. Yeah, it's kind of OP, I guess, because, like, you can destroy enemies from far away, and it's really useful, but you, it just leaves you really open, as you can see right there. Yeah, basically what you want to do is you want to take these two guys out. Alright, I'm going to wait for him to attack. Alright, attack back. There we go. Destroy the duplicator, because that's the main thing that is making the enemies. What else? Is there another duplicator? No, there isn't. I'll take that out. Take, uh... Okay, I tried to take out that with the other guy. But I wasn't at a good angle. There we go, got him out. And now we just have to take care of these guys. I don't know why they're dancing, because I'm still alive, but... Okay. And there we go. So doing that, uh, we have to see Mr. Krabs for the reward, which is a golden spatula. And that's it for the Krusty Krab. That is literally it. Like, it just it just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, one episode. Like, Rock Bottom is only appeared in one episode, yet they have a whole area for that. And then Krusty Krab only has one golden spatula in there. I don't even think there's a lost sock. Maybe there is. You had me but I don't really know. Boy. Worried for me money, of course. Here, take this as your reward. Alright, so now we got a golden spatula. And yeah. Alright, so let's go head off, off to the competition, I guess you could say, which is Chum Bucket. And I think there's only one golden spatula, like, in the Chum Bucket, but then, like, through the, the doors, which I think is like, you have to get 75 golden spatulas to get through the doors. Once you get through the doors, um, right there, uh, it's the final boss, and there's two gold spatulas in there, and yeah. Alright, so we got breaking news here. Yes, right where you're standing. Plankton, owner of the Chum Bucket, and best known for the creation of robots whose sole purpose is to cause mayhem and destruction, has denied any involvement. And then stop on your children! And stop on your children's children! This has been a Bikini Bottom News Flash! Okay, so yeah. The only golden spatula in here is right over here, I think. Do some wall jumps. And okay, I failed. Gotta get back up there. Do some wall jumps. And there we go. So there's the only real um, golden spatula besides the final boss. I guess the final boss is there's two final bosses to be honest, but I won't really spoil what the, who they are because there's kind of two of them. And they kind of team up on you. But yeah, now we're going to go head off to uh, get that golden underpants. And then we're going to go to Spongebob Dreams. 
And if you remember the first episode, Plankton was like, um, I'll give you a bucket of golden spatulas if you do this for me. And he's like, in your dreams. And he's like, what was that last part? Like, SpongeBob was like, he's like, nothing, nothing. And it kind of is true, because, like, we're going to SpongeBob's dreams, and it's a whole area with, uh, golden spatulas, so. Will be the best one it ever. kind of is true that Plankton will give you a uh, bucket of Super gold spatulas in his dreams, but you have to do stuff. I would if I you had go through Sandy's things. dream, uh, Here, Squidward's dream, Patrick's Yo, dream, and now, Mr. Krabs' Bob, dream, this a doozy. and I think a couple more. I think Gary's dream. My entire and, salary yeah, once you moving, go through all of them, this you get a golden spatula for each, and I think there's one, you like, the that's in the dream world. Blah, 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 blah. And it's kind of like the episode in Spongebob where, uh, they actually, where Spongebob actually goes through everyone's dreams. Alright, so... Getting this gold spatula, I think you have to ride one of the flying tiki's that comes around here. Like, yeah, that one right there. Maybe. I kind of forget how to get it. I forgot how I did it. I'm pretty sure I was riding one of these. I was on, like, the top floor of the shum bucket. But I could be wrong. I forget where I went. It might be, okay, no, actually, it might be on the, uh, back of the Krusty Krab. So right here, you have the dumpster, and I actually, I would, I thought this was really funny if, um, uh, they actually added Squidward smells bad, because <laughs> I remember Spongebob actually, uh, put that in there when he was taking out the trash one day. Yeah, it looks like I can't jump up there. Okay, yeah, I remember now. Okay, you have to hit a switch. Oh, yeah, so it's right there on the side of the chum bucket. And when you do that, I think it makes some platforms or something. Oh, I have to hit all three? Okay. Alright, nice to hit it. But yeah, like the bubble missile actually has some range to it. Like, it, um,. Will have an area blast to it, even if you don't hit your target, you still might hit it. Look at that, we get a golden spatula too. So, like right now, we gotta try and get across to the Krusty Krab. Alright, so we need to jump on one of those flying tiki's. But, like, wouldn't it explode, though? I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I think I might need Sandy or something. I forget how to do it. I think either I have to jump on one of those things. Like, maybe one that's closer. Or I have to... Just jump across. I missed. Yeah, I forget how I got it. It's either the way that I'm doing right... Oh, wait. I can just go right here. Yeah, okay. That's how you do it. Just jump off the trampoline. Go that way. So, yeah, now we actually have the maximum... Uh, we have the maximum amount of underpants that we can get, which is six. So, yeah. And we started out with three, so it's kind of cool that it shows that you grow from having three underpants to six. SpongeBob becomes a big boy, comes to and yeah, what mischief we're on a drug trip right now. SpongeBob's dreams. So Green yeah, it's I'm not like how uh, Plankton said means. it, where he's gonna give you a bucket of. Gold Gary, spatulas, you, you have to work here? for it. Wow. Oh, so I'm dreaming. 
Well, then, first thing I'm gonna do is dream myself up a mustache. Ow! Thanks, Gary. It does make me look more rugged, doesn't it? It's like the episode where, uh... Ow? They had the more pencil, cats? and well, I, could I think use more Patrick actually spatulas, made the mustache and it just start? flew away Ow! like a bird. Ow! You mean each dream bubble has a golden spatula in it? Ow! I'm ready! Ow! Yes, Gary, I'll be careful. Okay, so yeah. Each dream in this uh, world, I guess has a golden spatula in it. I think there might be some extras. I think there's one actually on top of... Okay, yeah, there's one right there, if you saw. Uh, which you need to, like, balance on a ball, and it's actually really hard. I don't think I actually... I don't think I ever did it. But yeah, it's right up there, as you can see. Yeah, I don't think I ever did it in my uh, first Let's Play of this game. Which I did off screen. But yeah, I remember not doing it though. Because it was just like pretty hard. But yeah, this uh, reminds me a lot of. Um, reminds me a lot of. Uh, I forget what they were called, but they were in Spongebob Squarepants the movie, the video game, and it was exactly like this, basically. We were on these blocks, and you had to go across to get the Goofy Goober token, but I forget what they were called, though. They weren't, like, called Dream World or something. So yeah, the other reason that I didn't get that golden spatula is because if I try and go try and go to get it, I have to do that this whole thing over again. Cause the ball brings you back here. And the teleport box I think brings you all the way to the last dream or something like that. But yeah, it's ridiculous. Gotta watch out for this guy. Alright, so the way to kill this guy is you have to use the bubble. And he has a shield, so he takes two hits basically. But he's really annoying, because like if you get hit by him, uh, he will you will start slipping and you can't uh, shoot any missiles from there. And he'll keep regenerating his shield until you beat him, which is even more annoying. And there's this uh, area with um, two of those guys. That, actually, I think there's three of them. They keep getting duplicated because um, there's a duplicator. And it's just really annoying. But yeah, I'm just going to skip that golden spatula. Maybe I'll do it off screen, but now, not really. Alright, so here we're at uh, Sandy's Dream. I might just end it here because we already did a lot and I'll probably leave it off for the next episode. Well, we will do all the dreams. Yeah, I don't think I missed any. I think I just jumped off making this shortcut. But yeah, anyway. That's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom right here on Tell Nick. Bye.